Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's Supreme Guri, and yes, I am back with another video. This video will show you how to download an app from the Google Play Store. So if you are new to Android and you're not quite sure of the basics just yet, then this is the video for you guys. So without me blabbering on at the start of the video, I just wanted to give you a quick introduction but let's just get straight into it. So, before you can download an application from the Google Play Store, you will have to add a Gmail email address. Now, if you don't have a Gmail email address, that's okay. I will show you what to do just now. So, first and foremost, what you need to do is go to your settings on your Android phone. And then you need to look for something along the lines of user and accounts. It may be worded a bit differently on your phone, but that's what it's called on my phone. And then you see at the very bottom here, it says add account. So if you haven't already got a Gmail, or if you just haven't signed in yet, in yet then basically all you have to do is hit add account, and then you wanna go to Google. So we're just gonna tap on Google. Um, now it's just asking me for my on-screen password because I've got that set up as a security. That would happen to you. I'm just a bit cautious. Okay, so in here, if you already have a Gmail address, then you put in your email address in there. You hit the next button, you put in your password. Bingo, bango, Bob is your uncle. Now, if you don't have an account, then you can see at the very bottom here where it says create an account. This is where you start to create your Gmail email address. So you just follow the on-screen instructions. You put your first name in, your last name in, hit the next button, and then you create your email address. So I'm not gonna go through all those steps, but once you have got that done, then you are good to go in terms of downloading an app to your phone. If you don't know what an app is, basically the easiest way that I find to describe it is that it's a shortcut. So let me give you an example. So I like browsing the news, seeing what's new and what's happening in the world. So the hard way to find out what's happening on the news is if I go to Google, type in BBC News, click on the website, and then scroll through for whatever news article I want to look at. If you have the BBC News app on your phone, then basically you just tap on the app and all the news is right in front of you. So you can see why I like to call it a shortcut. So what we're going to do first of all is go to the Google Play Store. So I'm just going to type in Play Store and it's this little icon that has the triangle with a few colors in it. So we'll click on Play Store, and here you're greeted with your main screen of your Google Play Store. So you'll see a lot of apps that are bombarding you in the face. These are just popular apps that people are downloading at the minute. Um, but if you are in search for a specific app, so let's go along the lines with the BBC News app. You see in the top bar here, it says Google Play. I'm just gonna tap on this and type in BBC and you can see as I'm typing it's actually trying to guess what I'm looking for so BBC News let's tap on that and then it's the top um, application at the very top here so I'm just going to tap on that and then we're going to hit the install button okay so now that's going to install onto your phone one thing I do want to mention is if you are going to download an app onto your phone, then please do it over Wi-Fi. It will use up your internet allowance if you don't. So you can see it's already installed um, and I'm not going to open it just yet. I'm going to hit the back button uh, and go back again. The voice icon here, the little microphone, instead of you typing in anything, you can just tap on that and then speak say the words BBC News, and it will automatically um, detect what you're trying to say. Now, 
There are apps that you do pay for, but the majority of applications on the Google Play Store, especially the most popular ones, are free. If you are unsure about the cost of an application, basically if it doesn't ask you to pay anything, that's your indication that uh, it doesn't cost a penny. I'm trying to get one here that maybe will cost something. I'm trying to think what apps on here do you have to pay for? Let's go with... Bum, 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 bum. I don't know, I'm just going to type in paid apps and see what it brings up. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Didn't know you could do that. So um, you can see then it says the price beside um, the applications. So if you tap on it, then it will ask you, once you tap on that 179, it will ask you to either put in your credit or debit card details or whichever way that you want to pay for the app. Uh, it's all safe. Do not be worrying about that. Google Play is very protected in that sense. Um, but anyway, so instead of me blabbering on again about the apps, we're going to go to our BBC News app. So I'm just going to search for it here and you can see it's downloaded. And then there you go. I just have to set up a few things once I first click into it. And I can bring this onto my front screen if I really wanted to, so that it's easy to get access to. Tap on BBC News and there is my news articles straight to my phone. Now that is just a quick tutorial uh, on how to download an app from the Google Play Store. If you do have any questions or anything that you're unsure about, put it down in the comments section and I will try my best to comment back to y'all. Um, but this is a basic tutorial for you guys that are new to Android. If this is your first time here then welcome and thank you for tuning in. If you want to see more how-to videos in terms of tech, whether it be on an Android phone or an iPhone, then subscribe to my channel if you want to. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down and tell me why you didn't like it. Until next time guys, you have been watching and listening to Supreme Guri.